from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, Wendy's got you covered with all of the latest super juicy hot topics. Then, Michael Eisner says beautiful women aren't funny, and Sierra claims she's abstaining from sex with her boyfriend until marriage. Our Hot Talk panel is breaking down all of the week's most controversial headlines. Plus, things get wild when Dave Mizajewski brings on an all-new group of amazing exotic animals. Now, here's Wendy! Okay, it is time to discuss this week's hottest topics in the latest edition of Hot Talk. Joining me from Fox 5 reporter and host and one of my compadres from back in the day, <laughs> Hot 97 Street Soldier host, Lisa Evers. Thank you, Wendy. It's so good to see you again. Also, relationship expert and the author of Write Your Own Fairy Tale, our old friend, Siggy Flicker. Siggy. Yes. And the anchor and bad boy of <laughs> CNN Tonight. Give it up for Don Lemon. Okay. So let's get started, guys. All right. Um, former Disney president Michael Eisner uh, caused an uproar last week. He was being interviewed, or he was interviewing the actress, actress Goldie Hawn, and he said to her, from my position, the hardest artist to find is a beautiful, funny woman, usually unbelievably beautiful women. Uh, you being an exception are not funny. <laughs> so, Siggy, what do you say? Okay, first of all, I'm so upset because my husband looks like a younger version of a Michael Eisner. <laughs> um, that is the stupidest thing that could come out of Disney's mouth. Does anybody here know Sofia Vergara? Because she's not only beautiful, but funny. And that's like old school to even say something. She's an what exception, you, though. She is an, not exception. an exception. And he said unbelievably I thought you, beautiful. I, Women. I thought you thought that I was unbelievably beautiful. You are, but you're not a comedic actress. I understood. I understood exactly what he was saying, and I don't see the outrage because most of the women, most of the comedians, they're attractive. You look at, they're attractive, but they're not unbelievably beautiful. But wait a minute, there's so many. What about Sandra Bullock? You have Zoe Deschanel with New Girl. What about Mindy Kaling? There's so many, but they're not funny off the cuff. They're funny because they have a script. And you know what? I was very offended when I first heard this, but upon sleeping on it and thinking about it, I I have to say there's something to what he said. Sorry, girls. I think he's right. Sorry. And it's not, ju it's not just women, it's men, too. If you look at Seth Rogen, Adam Sandler, Vince Correct. Vaughn, Jonah Hill. But they would never Hill, but say this about a how man. Many really Don, you, Don, men they have you see? Don, how many they really have, hot men do you see? How many really hot men do you see? But that's the point. But, Wendy, that's the point. They would not say this about a man. They don't say how many hot men who are uh, good comedians but are there out there. But you the topic of the subject. You don't know. He was talking to Goldie Hawn, who is an exceptionally beautiful woman. It's a double standard for women. Go back. To watch is... Mickey Mouse. It was a stupid <laughs> no, statement. Right. But end the story. I must say, he's been in the Disney Castle way too long. Yeah. But I, I must say that, you know, the funny women that we think of when we think of funny are funny because they have a script in right. front of them. Think uh, Melissa McCarthy, and you said Sandra Bullock. That's a script, right. you know. Uh, there are attractive women who are funny, but, you know, he says unbelievably attractive, and there's something to that. And I can tell you something right now. A lot of times, unattractive people have got to be funny because when they walk in a room, they don't have right. the automatic looks. And I can tell you something about real attractive people. Mm -hmm. A lot of you all are dead. Yeah. You have no personality <laughs> at all. They don't have to build that part of their personality right. so, where they have to attract so, people in. So, people are so, cater to them. A lot of of unbelievably attractive people have no personalities at, at, alities at all and so uh, a lot of times funny people have to right. work at it because they weren't necessarily so attractive in the beginning and when you're quirky if you look Melissa McCarthy is winning right she's not like she yes. wouldn't she's a beautiful woman to yes. me but like classic beauty she's winning there's something odd about her something different and that makes her win and I think that's beautiful in itself yes yeah. okay let's move along okay State University's quarterback. Have you heard about this story? DeAndre Johnson. He was caught on camera at a bar punching a woman in the face. Oh. The video contains violence and disturbing images, but let's watch and I'll describe what you see. 
All right, so he's at the bar. The woman's in the blonde hair. He, there he is in the hat. She balls her fist up first. Mm -hmm. According to him, he called her the N-word. And, she and, called him. Or, she called him the N-word. Oh. And yes, well, you know what? As a quarterback or as a man, I feel as though it's never right for a man to hit a woman, and I'm sorry. Ne <laughs> never, 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 yeah. never. Right. Um, he was charged with misdemeanor battery. She was charged with nothing. Yeah. I think she should have been charged with yeah. something. Yes. Wendy, it's also. it's Wendy, never right for anyone to hit anyone. It's never right for anyone to hit anyone because if you take a punch and you hit another person, that's assault, whether you're a man or whether you're a woman. Yes. Yeah. Should he have controlled himself? Yes, but she started this. It's very clear from the video. But she should have. She should have been charged too. In this too. day and age, right. you can't go around hitting people because you don't know what the reaction is going to be. And right. if someone hits you, if someone calls me the N word and someone hits me in the face, the right. natural reaction is to punch back. Right. That's a natural reaction. And, and you're in a bar with drunk people, you don't know how people are going to react. I have to tell you... Nobody the, at the bar cares. Right. Nobody at the, the bar cares. Right. No. Most of the altercations I have in bars are with right. crazily drunk people. white chicks. Right. Because they get... It, I'm, Whoa. I'm telling the truth. Is there something lying? you want to tell us about? No, her? because they get into the bars free, <laughs> they get drinks, the bartenders ignore you, they feel entitled, they get really hammered, they get really she hammered. She had entitlement they, issues from this video. And they just go off and do whatever and also, they want. And, 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 and by the way, being who said the mother that. of four kids, I'm raising two boys and two girls. I tell my boys, don't you ever, ever lay a hand to a woman. But if my son is walking into a bar and he's trying to get up to the bartender and somebody says, excuse, get, ew, ew, you dirty Jew! Why don't you? And he, she, he's holding her back right. in this video, and she put the first punch on him, and he punched her in the face. I'd be happy that my son got arrested. However, yeah. she should be thrown in jail Amen. as well. That, yeah, That's exactly. it. She should definitely be charged. There's no question about yeah. it. Nobody should ever hit anyone. Nobody. But, but yeah. also, too, when we become desensitized. I think we, as a culture, become desensitized to this hit, whole hitting and punching thing I do also. because of the reality TV shows, yes. and especially with women. Yeah. Women used to be yeah. considered, oh, fragile. Above all this, right. we see women throwing drinks, throwing punches, right. hitting their That's boyfriends, and not expecting the boyfriend to hit back. Right. It's wrong for anyone to hit anyone. I agree. Period. And you End of be story. Daughters as well, not to right. hit anybody. Right. So women not to hit. Point. You can't walk around here and you know right. you're weaker than somebody else, right. and you're going to hit them and not well, expect retaliation. Well, now he's been thrown off the team, so he'll never go to the NFL. But he's whatever his, his, whatever yeah. his dreams yeah. are, they yeah. are now. But with dashed. the prosecutor too, the prosecutor said anyone that thinks the woman should be charged is a village idiot. I've never heard a prosecutor. I invite you to my home, whoever you, uh, uh, attorney, I invite you to call me a village idiot to my face in my house. Okay. You're gonna hit Come him? on over. <laughs> okay, let's get along. Okay. 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 Uh, there is a new toy that's hitting the shelves oh. at Walmart, and it has parents and me very upset. <laughs> Have you heard about the twerking teddy bear? Well, it twerks. Okay. <laughs> this. Don't laugh at this because it's summertime and family reunions are going on. And you know at family reunions we love when little Tay Tay gets out there and does her over sexualized move yes. at two yes. years old. Yeah. This is not cute at all. Some people are saying it's vulgar and inappropriate. I agree with some people. What do you say? I say that if somebody gave that to my nine year old niece I would be very upset and I have to say that I see a lot of children at the community events that I go to where they are doing it that think it's cute for a five or six year old girl not to be sexualized. However looking at the teddy bear the five or six year old is not the one buying the teddy bear. Right. It's an adult. It's, well, an adult exactly. buying it. I yeah. have to say, I am guilty. I'm guilty. Stop I it. don't want to be a phony. I think it's adorable. What? All my children twerk, and now they're doing the whip and the nay nay. I, I think it's a teddy bear. Oh, Siggy. We have problems with people punching each other oh. out in bars. This is so adorable to me. I love oh it. Oh my God! It is the ratcheting of America. Uh, here, the ratcheting, ratcheting of the culture. I think it is disgusting. I think so. Also, listen. Uh, teddy bear th that twerks to me is the gateway drug, kind of yeah. like cigarettes yes. to drugs. The pole dance. One day they're the doing dance. a twerking teddy bear. The next day they're on, they're the, pole. on the pole. On the pole. On the pole. So, amen. Amen. But you're the parent, so you thank do what you, you want. I want to thank my panelists. For more information about all these fabulous people, go to wendyshow.com. Up next, my friend Dave Mizajewski is here with some amazing animals. Don't go far.